This is exactly what I have you guys for. For the support, but most importantly, for fish advice. <laughs> All right, good morning everyone. As I'm eating my breakfast, <laughs> let's quickly chat here. So, uh, actually, let's chat about this here really quickly. So, this is a nearly perfect recipe. Nearly perfect, the flavor's there, everything. The ingredients are there. There's actually two things that I'm kind of like regretting, not regretting, but like I learned. One is that I should have put some hard boiled eggs in this, completely forgot about it. And two, I wish I could have just like steamed the broccoli separated it and didn't cook it in the sauce or like i wish i didn't cook the broccoli that that's that's my point so for next time i won't cook the broccoli like i said man this is like a nearly perfect recipe let's have some corn ladies and gentlemen mm. i don't have a corn holder <laughs> the flavor goes crazy cut the cams down All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what I have you guys for, okay? For the support, but most importantly, for fish advice. <laughs> I was suggested in the comments section by Cassander being like, his friend that has an aquarium uh, recommended, and I quote, make sure the tank gets a bit less light and consider some Amano shrimp. They feed on the hair algae and keep your little ecosystem functioning usually. Less microbes might help too. All worth a shot though. Let's do it. Now the only thing that could stop me from uh, from from getting all this done is if Petco doesn't have any uh, any Amano shrimp. Now I'm not sure how many to get, but I'll, I'll get like two, two or three. They feed on the algae, that's, that's, that's all I ask for because of, of course those things produce the most like problems, I guess. When it comes to the fish tanks, I guess nitrite levels. I think there's good algae. I could be wrong, but I, I believe there is. And uh, the, the, obviously the kind that I'm getting right now, not so good. We're here to solve that. We're here to solve that, ladies and gentlemen. I don't got nobody just with you right now when I'm with you. All right, pet coat time, ladies and gentlemen, or pet coat done. We're gonna try something a little bit different. So unfortunately they didn't have shrimp. It is what it is. I don't know where I can find one. I'll try to find one somewhere, but I want to try something a little bit different since this is a uh, different brand. Who knows, right? This is tap water conditioner right here and it's stress coat. I heard both of those things are pretty good when it comes to taking care of like, uh, you know, tap water and taking care of the fishies, making sure they don't have algae in there. Give it a shot. If it doesn't work, we're moving on to the next thing. You know what I'm saying? God, I've spent too much fun. All right, boys and lady boys, it is time to be the father of the year again. Uh, yep, we got some L water right here. Or, th this is the water, this is the bucket. I <laughs> One of Cassandra's friends' uh, suggestion is to have less light in there, which makes sense because when I went to the WWE trip and I came back, the light was like right here and it made like yellow mold on the glass. So less light, that makes sense. And then, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Water expires. This thing says June of 2020. This thing expires? What the fuck? I have too much love for both of you fishies, all right? I'm never gonna let you guys go. Like, the only way for you guys to die is if some tragic thing happens. Like, I'm they, like these guys aren't gonna die on my watch, all right? Like, knock on wood, these guys pass away. Like, they, there's a there's a good reason for it. Not just my negligence. That's one. Don't, don't flop out, Jesus. Someone said in the comment section, this is Mountain Dew water. And, uh, yeah, he couldn't be any more accurate, to be honest. There we go. All right, boys. This water is horrible, man. What's the filter looking like? Oh, my God, it's bad. Well, here, why don't we just test it really quickly? Let's see what the let's see what the pH stuff is talking about here. Look at the water. That's bad. That is so bad. All right, let's, uh, let me test the water here really quickly. All right, boys, we've got the chart right here. You can see that. I'm gonna dip this in here really quickly. All right, let's see. Let's, oh, hold on. Let me, let me check myself first. Okay. Here's the thing, right? See this right here? It's supposed to be like this, right? Everything's, like, decent. Well, mm. well, you know what? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's, like, decent. Everything's not, like, horrible. The only thing that's really bad is nitrite, which is the most important one. I'm just temporarily transferring these guys into the into the bucket. Uh, I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm gonna do it later. I'm gonna go home really quickly. I'm hungry for some burgers. Apparently, the parents are doing burgers. So. Alright, how's 
it going everyone? Just had my burger and everything. Your boy is, your boy's chilling now. I wanted to give a quick little preface before we get started here. I'm a little bit inebriated, all right? So this green sludge right here that we got, this has to be emptied completely. This is, this is, this is bad, ladies and gentlemen. So it's not the most fun process. It's very painful since I have to like use the pump and everything, but what can you do? I mean, it's... <laughs> I have to do this another 300 times for fuck. Oh boy. So you know, this is the part where it's just... <laughs> this is the part where I'm just kind of, I don't know, wanting to die. No, but for real, the, the next step right now is pretty much just to kind of wash wash this, like, this, the, these rocks, uh, this, this gravel. There you go. And once I get all this, like, gravel washed, now we just gotta refill the water and everything, and it should be all good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have all these plants, like, in the tank again. I may or may not. Who knows? Point is, I'm just gonna wash this right now and, uh, go from there. Go from there. And to the fish gurus, yes, I understand. I'm not supposed to be, you know, doing this all the time. I, I'm pretty sure you guys would understand that, like, if, if it's the same color as Mountain Dew, I'm sure, I'm sure it's pretty appropriate to completely, like, clean out the water, you know, and everything. Gotta wipe this all down, and, uh, I mean, that's really it. Just gonna refill this and see what, see what happens. Here we go. Let's, let's place this thing back and uh, start refilling it. I'm not gonna have the big plant in here just cause, I don't know, it's trying something a little bit different. Seeing what happens. Start filling this up again, boys. Alright, this is the aquarium water. It's time to use tap water. Here we go. It's time to finally use this new, like, type of conditioner that I'm gonna start using here. Got this right here, tap water conditioner. Dechlorinates aquarium water, removes chlorine and chloramines, uh, detoxifies heavy metals, which obviously is in, in tap water. So I trust this, see what happens. If it doesn't go well, then you know, we'll move on to a different product. This is the product that I know a lot of people use, so it might be good. And I think this one's also just, yep, this is just one milliliter, just one milliliter. Perfect, all right, maybe a little extra, just in case. Dump this in. Perfect. And then also stress coat. I don't know, man. I'm just trying a bunch of random sh**. See what works. It's kind of the whole point of this, you know what I'm saying? So, stress coat. Makes tap water safe. Removes chlorine and chloramines. Detoxifies heavy metals. Protects fish. The healing power of aloe vera. Proven to reduce fish stress. Replaces slime coat. Great. This is pretty good. This is what I want, boys. This is this is exactly what I want. Oh, and it's green. Five milliliters for each 10 gallons. Perfect. And then we dump this in here. And there we go. I think that's it for now. Let's keep refilling the water. Alrighty. Done with the refill stuff. And uh, I think I'm going to turn off the light here. The less light, the less chances of forming like algae in it. I think this is for the better. Well, I guess for now we need to turn on the light just so you guys can see, but I think overnight I'm just gonna leave this off because there's no point of it being on. Yeah, the filter's not not good. Stick this in here. Pause. Oh my god, there's a lot of... Jesus Christ. Oh boy, there's a lot of slime here. Let's... Oh. Oh, Jesus. My goodness, bacteria and everything. Oh my god. God damn. I mean, am I surprised? No, not really, but like Am I surprised? Yeah, kinda. Ready to roll here, ready to rock and roll. Put this in here, plug this in, and boom. There we go. Let it flow. Oh wait, oh, there we go. Yep, that's it. That's it for the saving the fishies bit today. Let's turn this light off and let her buck. Man, whoever knew freaking taking care of fishies was a, was a back-breaking job. Like I said, I'm just gonna leave that running for the rest of the night and then uh, turn the light off, of course. The light's off on it right now. Just gonna let it run, let it circulate and everything, let it clear out all the the, the harmful chemicals or whatever. Yeah, once tomorrow comes, I'll, uh, I'll put the fishies in there and see what happens. If it starts growing mold again, then I'm really gonna have to, like, go back on the drawing board and seeing how to approach this better. I didn't think taking care of fish was a crazy thing, man, but I'm glad they exist anyway. I hope you guys are happy, man. I really try to take care of you guys. I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm a little bit more than tipsy, I'm not even gonna lie, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit out of it, so I think, uh, I think we're gonna conclude this video today it's just so weird how like it just starts getting green so quickly i try my best man sometimes you know the algae just likes to build up on it either way boys thank you all so much for watching this video hope you guys have a great night i don't know what else to say boys other than yeah good night see you tomorrow well, turn around
No, I got um, options. They give me the go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key, and my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.